my darlings welcome back to my channel my voice has come back thank you very much for all of the well wishes i appreciate them so very much my name is fumi de salo Vold. for those of you that are stopping by for the very 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 first time i uh, noticed over the weekend that i do have quite a number of new subscribers welcome 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 i am honored i want you guys to know just like i tell my subscribers that this is my channel but it is what it is absolutely your show <laughs> yes <laughs> i am always on my insta story so follow me on instagram and i was telling my insta fam that from here on in i will forever have a sister to sister every single week you guys let me know on what topic what subject i'm actually even thinking of delving into like the real housewives franchise real housewives of new york real housewives of beverly hills i used to watch those episodes but you know mommy dam i am not as regular but i will be if you guys want to have my humble opinion i absolutely uh do not mind i love the banter between us i think it's a bonding platform i love the way that you and i always communicate and when i say that i really do mean you my subscribers i am seriously thinking of heavy heavy giveaways i'm reaching out to brands because you guys absolutely and totally deserve the most Alrighty, this monday's episode is all about what it's all about brows it's all about brows my darlings you guys have been asking me forever for me come on you know give us an update come on tell us what we're working with and my brow game has changed and i'm so proud of it and i have found a secret to really have those lifelike real brow hairs because my brows are super sparse as you will see when we get into the tutorial and i wanted to share with you guys because it is a challenge for me and i was like no i got to i got to have my brows it's got to look sexy so this is how i really have my brows these days very very realistic you know the makeup is for you guys because you guys really love muted tones realistic makeup looks that you can wear out you can wear to work a lot of you are bosses you're in the office i get that you don't want the distraction but you still want to look fierce this is for you guys i just did the brows i didn't do the makeup i can do the makeup tutorial for you guys in another episode i just wanted to focus on brows and show you the tools that i'm using and of course anastasia beverly hills is there juvia's place is there color pop is there benefit is there bad girl bang mascara and um yeah i want you guys to sit back and enjoy this wonderful tutorial do not forget to like to share to subscribe give me the banter you like you don't like that's okay there's no pressure here you are allowed to what express yourself <laughs> why not <laughs> And uh, yes, my darlings, sit back and enjoy. And uh, this really is a tutorial about brows for those women that have no brows at all. For that girl who has no brows, welcome to the tutorial that's going to finally give you brows. Sit back and enjoy, my darlings. Get your mocktail, get your cocktail, and let's go. <laughs> all right my darlings so as you can see very sparse brows i never had brows my darling never did and in the 90s i did all of my makeup and my brows were just meh you know until until in all fairness i discovered anastasia beverly hills i have to start with her now darlings you have to get the brow freeze you have to get the brow freeze it is a gel or a wax and basically you know how when you sparse your brows i'm going to take a spoolie what is a spoolie you see the wand that you find in a mascara that circular wand that you apply the mascara on exactly so here i have one from um ColourPop. as a matter of fact they gave it to me in pr i love it because it's long and it circulates I take very little very little you need this you do need it you do need it not too much now some of you 
are used to doing your brows before you do your foundation, your bronzers and so on and so forth. I have my foundation and bronzer on. So I'm doing this after the fact, okay? Now I'm going to take a mirror, small mirror, so that you can see what I'm doing. And basically, you just want to brush your brow hair upwards, the very little that you have because this uh, tutorial is geared towards <laughs> the girl with no brows, very, very sparse. So I'm just trying to see what I have here and what I can work with and just build up. And that's all I have. Let me just bring it in closer. There you go. This is all that I have. This is the only brow I have. See? Okay, I'm going to do it on this end too. I like this spoolie, it's so nice. Make sure that you don't put too much wax. You just want to get the brows going, you know, and you want them to, you know, spread out, not necessarily upwards, you know, like, a, like, an, <laughs> like an electrocuted cat. <laughs> you don't want that look. You just want to really have the hairs as much as you can spread out. So this is what we got, okay? Not too bad, it's not too bad. You know, it is what it is. I'm working with what I got. <laughs> and that, my darlings, is by ABH. Again, as I mentioned, this is the ABH Brow Freeze. Now I'm going to take the MVP pencil. I love this because it's such a thin, thin, thin pencil, as you can see by Fenty Beauty. Fantastic. So this is the second stage. And what I do, especially in the beginning, because I like the brow in the beginning to look as natural as it can be. Very natural. And then towards the end, it can get thicker. But I don't like that very thick, bold, bulky brow. It doesn't look natural to me. So Again, I'm just going to show you what I am comfortable with. So I just do light strokes. And because the pencil is so thin, it's difficult for you to make a mistake. And you just go all the way up, 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 like so, in an upward motion in the front. Yeah. And I trace the brow at the bottom as well to give it some kind of shape. So I know, okay, this is where I want my brow to start and end. Just give it some kind of structure and just coax it all the way to where I'm comfortable with. And fill in all the sparse bits. At this stage right here, I don't have any hair. But I want to extend it and just clean it up with what I've got there, okay? There we go. And then again, fill it up as much as I can underneath. And I'll do the same. As you can see already, it's formed shape much better than this. Yeah, let me step back. Can you see? That's a brow. At least we're working with something here and it looks as natural as can be in front here, okay? And the MVP pencil is everything for me. The brows are not twins, they are sisters. They are very different. So on this side, I have to fill it in and give it longer strokes because I don't have hair even on top here. I don't, so I have to, you know, fix some hair up there too. I'm telling you the challenge. And I just do the light strokes in between. And where some people say you can use brown, and I love brown, don't get me wrong, sometimes I need the black. I just need the black so that I can get the structure, as you can see, yeah? And I just kind of fill in all the sparse bits and coax it all the way to the edge, where literally I have no hair whatsoever. And there you have it, yeah? You're gonna sweat, you're going to touch up, this is gonna move a little bit. So I have what you call backup. This, my darling, is an angle brush by Juvia's Place. I live 
for this. I think I've talked about it literally in almost every episode. And I have three, I have four, I have five. The others are dirty, but I live for these. Let me just double check. Yes, I have some. I have, yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm an addict. <laughs> Then I take, oh, I can't live without it. Juvia's Place, this is a black gel liner. I take the angled brush ever so gently. Let me show you now. I dip in, dip in a little bit. Once your gel liner gets very dry, just put in hot water and it comes right back to life. Then I go, not in the beginning, but in the middle, in the middle and I trace very lightly, and I go over what I've done with the pencil so that I get more of a richer, punchier, colored brow, okay? There you go. Very, very, very lightly. Never, never in front, very lightly. I wish you could see how gently I'm just grazing the brush over the hair. That's what I do, yeah? And I can go a little bit on top here if I want to, just to make it a little thicker, yeah? That's it. I do the same. I have put what I took from the brush onto my hand here, so that I don't have too much onto the brow because you don't want it to look fake. And you look ridiculous, very clownish. I'm gonna do it again here, okay? in the middle and grease, okay? And just grease. And basically, it really is where I don't have any hair, but I like to just make it a little bit darker because when I sweat and perspire, the pencil changes because of the foundation, because of all the makeup. This keeps it intact. Yes, it does, okay. And there we have, yeah? I take yet another Juvia's Place angle brush. Why do I like them? Because it's stiff. So you really get that precision and I need that for my brow. I have been using the MAC Pro and Conceal palette forever. As you can see, it's completely finished. I need to get another one. I constantly mix and match and blend to my desire. And this is what I use to sculpt my brow underneath, never on top but underneath. So as you can see, it's really finished at this point. I'm gonna take this middle one right here, just twirl my brush. And this just gives it a very clean effect and it makes it very even because my brows are not even. I just try to bring them together as much as I can. This brow is higher than this brow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I go in underneath here and I just clean it up. You can raise your brow for the precision. And that's it. Then I take the same brush and I drag it down. And this can be any concealer, any concealer. It doesn't have to be the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. I use different ones, but I like that because it's compact. I use it for traveling. It doesn't spill, blah, blah, blah. And I just drag it, okay? Then I take any fluffy brush like so, and I just blend it out on the edges right there. That's what I do. Okay. drag it down, use a big fluffy brush, and just buff that out. Like so. Now, this is the trick. This is my own little formula. <laughs> you must be saying to me, for me, what is this? What <laughs> is this? <laughs> Let me just bring them together. This, my darlings, is Bad Girl Bang Mascara and Colourpop Mascara in brown. 
you're looking at the bottom here this is the product this is Colourpop Brown, this is Bad Girl Bang Mascara Black. I wish they could combine the two because that's what I love and need. The wand of Bad Girl Bang Mascara is the best for my lashes as well as my brows. It does for my brows what it does for my lashes. It does for my lashes what it does for my brows because my brows are very sparse and my lashes are very short. But I don't want to use black mascara in the beginning of my brow because it looks too unnatural. It's too black, it's too deep. So I mixed the heads <laughs> and this is what I have. <laughs> so this is the brown mascara from Colourpop and this is the trick. I take this particular wand, and if you can get it, Bad Girl Bang Mascara, and any brown mascara, and what do I do? I bring my brows to life. Yes. It just, it's give, it gives that 3D effect that I can't get any other way. So when people see me, they're like, for me, but you got really nice bushy brows. No, this mascara does for my brows what it does for my lashes. And it's amazing. This is the million dollar look. And I go as far as I can where it picks up my own natural hair. I don't know if you guys can see, this is the look. Look at the difference with this one. Look at the difference with this. And it doesn't make it too black because I'm using a brown mascara. I'll do it to the other side. It just picks it up. And because of this particular wand, this type of particular wand, it picks up my little hairs and just makes it nice and bushy. And this is how I do my brows. And this is how you can get that full bushy brows for girls with very sparse or non-existent brows. This is it. and they stay like that all day. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, my darlings, and I will be right back. Woo, do we love, darlings, do we love? Do we love, darlings, do we love? In essence, there are steps to this because you want it to stay. And you know what? I'm going to splash, I don't have water here because I want to splash my uh, face with water so that you guys can see that it stays put. The brows just stay put and they look gorgeous. <laughs> they look absolutely gorgeous. Get the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I wish I had a discount code for you guys. I do not. But it is the wand for me. This is the trick. This is the trick. And you try very hard to go lighter in the beginning and darker towards the end. That bold, bold brow is out. Unless you're doing gothic or we're doing Halloween or something really fun like that. The brow stay. But I'm going to just splash water onto my face so you guys can see. I'll be right back. <laughs> yes. Just look. That way you can really see the brow. Absolutely. So my darlings, I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> 
and I will see you what? I'll see you tomorrow. Understood what I did wrong. I was trying hard to find a place.